Guys, this is Lord Shale speaking on behalf of our show sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. They allow you to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so you can officially call yourself a lord or a lady. Established Titles is not just about your ego. You also get to do some good. In addition to your new fancy title, Established Title supports global charities like One Tree Planet and Trees for the Future to help with the afforestation effort. Your title pack gets you at least one square foot of dedicated land in a private estate in Scotland. Your certificate features a unique plot number where you can see the exact location of your land. And right now, Established Titles is holding 200 plots of land right next to mine. So come join me in the Bad Guy Inc. Kingdom. Getting this certificate even allows you to officially change your name to Lord or Lady. Put it on your credit card, put it on your plane tickets, or if you're so inclined, put it on your dating profile. Makes for a great last minute gift. And there's even couples packs that come with adjoining plots of land. Established Titles is having a great limited time sale. Go to establishedtitles.com slash chale to save 10% off today. Remember to use the promo code CHAIL or just click on the link below. Blahal Mohammed, guys. Did you see the piece? I, I, I guess maybe I, I, I should back up a second. I'm assuming you all saw what Blahal had to say as it, it pertained to Chemiah. Now, Blahal sat down to give a, a statement that was fully after Chemiah, and I mean both guns out, fully locked in. However, he also went after Colby. He mentioned Colby. I saw somebody that was trying to recap what Blahal had said, that, Chamal, uh, that Blahal has gone after Colby and Chemiah. That's not what I saw. That's not what I saw. I think you misunderstand. I thought Blahal was very clear that he was after Chemiah. In fact, I don't think I have ever seen anybody more clear and more aggressively try to get a fight with Chemayev than what Blahal did. And when Blahal did begin to bring Colby into it, I believe that Blahal is operating under an assumed rumor that came out that Colby and Chemayev are going to be fighting. I saw that rumor. There was even a poster was made, and this was even released on the underground forum. But now that we've had a couple of weeks to go by, we could take a deep breath. That has not been confirmed by Colby. That has not been confirmed by Chemayev. That has not been confirmed by Dana White. So now we're back at rumor, but I believe Lahal Mohammed was operating under that rumor. And the only time he was going after Colby was to dismiss Colby and explain why he should be in that spot and he should be opposite Shemaev. That's how I interpreted it. And we've played this game for a very long time that nobody will fight Shemaev. We've, we've played that game, but unless you're calling Blahal nobody, and maybe that's what we need to rename him. Do we need to rename Blahal? No, but I mean, we just can't say that anymore. And Chemayev doesn't generally let these things slide. If there's fire, there will be a response. Be careful what you ask for. This is generally how Chemayev plays the game. More than ever, me. Old Chael sitting over here as a fan. I need an answer from Chemaya because I need clarity about Chemaya. Are we doing this, this journey, this path to the championship, are we doing that at 185 or are we doing it at 170? I've never been satisfied with the explanation that we've been given for the botched weight attempt in Chemayev's last contest. It was Bosch. He was right in the middle. Weighed 178 pounds. He was sat right in the middle of 170 and 185. We never really had that explained to us. Chemayev came from a very different standpoint of, I do not care. I will fight any of them. Bring in this guy or bring in that guy. Don't give me any notice. I don't care. So he saw that it went in line. He saw that he could use the botch in line with the character, the persona, and the message. And he did. 
I'm still sitting over here. If I'm trying to find out who's next for Chemayev, I got to know which. I got to know which way. I mean, I just have to know. Dana went as far as to say putting him in a championship match next is going to be a challenge. Talking about the weight, and I just don't have any clarity. And the fact that Chemayev has an answer to the rumor about Covington, that's off. That's off brand. By the way, Chemayev generally does things. The fact that Chemayev is not answering to the responsible Hal Muhammad, that is generally off. But should I should I draw something from that? Should I draw that perhaps Shemayev is looking at 185, which quite frankly, that's where I want him. I've always wanted 185. He's a young guy. He likes to train hard. It's hard to train really hard and be in calorie deficit. It's just hard to do. Guy with those kind of skills, I like him at 185, right? Not, nothing too perverse, nothing too sinister, and, and nothing even too sophisticated by me. That is why I'd like to see him there. He's a young guy who likes to train hard. All right. Let a little time go by and keep that training going, put some calories in and move up a weight class, right? My, my math is real simple, but I haven't heard that. I haven't heard anything. I loved the Chemayev experience. It was a marketing campaign. It was the single greatest marketing campaign in MMA that I have had the pleasure of living through. And it was done on accident. Nobody in a room somewhere came up with a strategy and a marketing plan. What we're going to do with Chemayev is we're going to fight him and we're going to fight him really fast again. And we're going to fight him really quick again. And without too much break, we're going to fight him again. Oh, and by the way, he's going to cover the spread of two different weight classes. I mean, that was so damn compelling. And we did away with it. Not only do we do away with it, we're not even trying to preserve it. We're not even trying to preserve a quick turnaround, a bouncing of weight classes, anyone, anywhere, anytime. We're not even trying to do those things. Okay. But it makes it very difficult. It makes it very difficult for me. I'd like to hedge. I, I'd like to share an opinion. I'd like to say where I want to see him. I don't even know what weight class we're doing. I have to draw something from this. The, the fact that Blahal Muhammad is coming after me, is coming after him so darn hard and not getting a response. Is that a response? Right? You, you ever ask somebody if they want to do something? Maybe asking somebody out, but you, you, you hey, you want to go do something? You want to do something with me? And you get an answer, but it's not a yes or a no. So you come back and you ask again, or a little bit more time, so you come back and ask again, and you get an answer, but it's necessary or no. In all fairness, you have been answered. You have been. They're telling you something through that silence, through that unsureness, through that non-committal. They're telling you something. Is Chemayev telling us he's not coming down to 170? Is Chemayev telling us I'm coming to 170, but I already have something? I don't know what you draw from it, but I don't know how Blahal Muhammad could have been more clear. I don't know how Colby Covington could be more quiet. Colby's training. He's hungry. He wants to fight, but he's not saying anything, right? Like everybody is playing a little bit of an angle and it's very tough. It really is very tough to sit back in our position and know which direction they're considering on going or what angle they're going after. It's very tough. The silent game doesn't get you very far in this business. In a business that we know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. I think things are going to work out for Blahal. I think traditionally speaking, Blahal is the one doing things right. But we've got silence from two sides that we're interested in. Colby, Chamayo, Wyatt, a rumor that they're fighting, a poster that's out on the underground. What part do you believe? What part are we most likely to be confirmed? And when two guys are sitting there with their mouths shut, it makes things pretty hard.